Mr. Shetta, really appreciate your time. I mean, 14 seats with that, uh, the elections in Karnataka are over. Last time, all these seats went in favor of the BJP. How has the trend been today? Uh, almost all 14 parliamentary constituency <coughs> comes out of North Karnataka. Last time, last occasion, 2019 election, all the 14 seats, it is uh, it is in favor of the Bharati Janta Party. Now also the trend is same same trend is continued, and uh, according to me, all the 14 seats now second phase election is going on in Karnataka. Uh, we are going to uh, elect all the 14 seats. So I just wanted to talk about the Lingayat factor a little bit. Uh, let's just bring up graphic 16 if we can in Karnataka, the Lingayat factor and consolidation of the Lingayat vote. Uh, it's interesting because we actually take a look at where the BJP was and where um, in the 2019 Lok Sabha election, the BJP had 87% of the Lingayat vote. 87% of Lingayats voted for the BJP in the Lok Sabha elections. But the Vidhan Sabha elections in 2023, that went down to 56%. So therefore, sir, the Lingayat factor, how much of a concern is that for you? No, no, no. What will be uh, always in uh, Lingayat people and even other caste people, even SEST people, backward class people uh, and uh, even uh, forward caste, everybody uh, is supporting a BJP and uh, uh, Lingayat votes almost all so many years, they are intact with the Bharti Janta Party. In this parliament election also, they are supporting Bharti Janta Party and Narin Modi ji leadership. Prajwal Revanna sex scandal. Uh, would you accept that that's causing a major embarrassment for the BJP in particular and, and also for the entire campaign that you have had so far? One question that is looming large on you. It, it has no impact on the voters in North Karnataka because all this incident, everything recorded and uh, come into public after first phase election in Karnataka. So, even I have seen the public opinion and other things, everybody thinking it is a personal, personal uh, it is incident and uh, uh, it, it, it has no impact on the uh, other party, 14 party parliamentary uh, election constituency. It has no impact at all. Would this not likely have an impact on the overall elections because this is a, a scandal which is not just limited to the JDS and BJP or to, to the JDS and its potential impact in Karnataka? No, no. Neha, Neha Iremert case, murder case and other uh, four members murdered in the Gaza, it, it, is, it shows law and order is collapsed in the Karnataka. It has impact in the, every year because uh, pers everybody wants to personal safe safety in Karnataka. But it is not uh, did by the uh, state uh, Congress government. So there is apprehension that law and order is collapsed and uh, uh, there is no fear for the murderers. Here, this Prajwal Rivana case is entirely different. It is a personal. What is and SIT probe is going on. Let us see what has happened. And now, Yes, from yesterday, there was an involvement of the D.K. Shukumar uh, DCM. His uh, name is also appearing. So it is uh, made by the uh, D.K. Shukumar like that. Prima Pisa case already started. So uh, there is a doors among us all these cases uh, because of the involvement of the DCM. Okay, so you are of the opinion that uh, this case will have no impact on the uh, election outcome so let's wait and see how it really plays out on fourth but overall the political discourse in Karnataka in many ways is being shaped by what you know this entire sex tape or the sex scandal which has come out in the public domain